Now to do a question like this, what you need to do is a sketch of the diagram. And that's basically what I've done. I've just copied down what we're given. So we need to put on some uh, forces acting on this uh, uniform rod AB. We're told first of all that it's mass is m kilograms. So we need to put that right in the middle here. The length is 4a, so it's obviously going to be in the middle here at 2a units in from one end. So if we put that in there, okay, we'll just mark that as mg, mg newtons, the weight acting downwards. What other forces we're going to have? Well, we've got the particle B of mass M here on the end, so there's going to be the weight of that particle that's going to act downwards. That two is going to be mg newtons. There's also the tension in the string here, so that tension is going to be acting in this direction, so we'll just call that T, T newtons. Now there's going to be a contact force here at A from the kind of hinge, and I don't know where that's acting, so we'll just put a value of R newtons acting up in that direction. And what we've got to do is show that if this rod then is in equilibrium, that the tension T here is equal to mg root 13. Now, in order to do this, normally when I've got questions where you've got equilibrium of a rigid body, what I'd want to do is take moments and also resolve. Resolve forces in a vertical plane. And if we were to resolve, we're going to introduce R into our equations. And seeing that R isn't in the tension that we've got to prove, I'm not going to resolve vertically. Now what I'm going to do is take moments, moments about A, purely because I don't know what R is, and since R passes through the point A, it won't enter the equation. So that's essentially what we're going to do. Take moments about A, form an equation, and solve it for T. So that's an overview of how I'm going to tackle this, and you might like to pause the video, have a go. And come back when ready, and I'll run through the solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how you took moments about A. So let's just put down that we're going to take moments about A. And if we do that, we need a positive sense. And it doesn't matter which sense you take. I'm going to take anticlockwise as positive. The reason for that is that it keeps the tension part positive. But it's totally up to you. Now if we take moments about A, starting with this tension, we need to split it into two components. This tension can be acting, part of it can have a component perpendicular to the rod in this direction, and one along the rod. Now the one along the rod is going to have no effect because it's going to pass through A. It's only this component that we're interested in. And to get that component we need an angle. And it's up to you whether you choose this angle or this angle here. I'm going to go for this one here. Let's call it theta. And theta happens to be this angle over here. These two lines are parallel, so these are alternate angles. So when it comes to taking moments then, we want this force, which is going to turn it in an anticlockwise sense, positive sense, and its moment will be t cos theta times this distance from, from c to a, which is going to be 3 meters. So let's just put down that we have then t cos theta multiplied by that distance 3a. Now we'll take into account this moment produced by this weight, the weight of the rod. It's going to be mg and it's being multiplied by this distance 
back to A. Well, it's a uniform rod, its length was 4A, so this distance in here must be 2A. So we'll just mark that in there. Okay, so that's 2A, so it'd be Mg times 2A. And the weight would want to turn it about A in a clockwise sense, okay, which is in the negative sense to this, so we'll put that as minus. So we've done this one. Now we'll take the weight of the particle at B, so it's going to be Mg, okay, multiplied by the distance back to A, which is going to be 4A. So Mg times 4A, and that too will be in the negative sense, because it's going clockwise. As for the moment of the force R, well, that force R passes through A, and it doesn't enter the equation. And that's the reason, again, why we took moments about A. And so this is the resultant moment, but because the rod is in equilibrium, it must equal zero. So all we need to do now is just solve this equation. And what we've got here then is T times 3A, so we know that we've got 3 TA. Well, in fact, actually, A is in every term here, so we could cancel through by A, so that will take that out, okay, so we don't need to worry about that. But we've got 3T then cos theta, so 3T times cosine of theta. Now, when we look at what we've got to prove, it says to show that T equals Mg root 13, so it looks as if we've got to work in exact form. And that means that if we take this triangle here, okay, we're told, well, we're not told, but we've got to work out what cosine of theta is. So if I was to just copy that kind of triangle back down here, we're only concerned with ratios of sides. So we can see that this length was 2A units. I can just call it 2 units, though. The A doesn't matter. This length is 3A units, or just simply 3 units. So by Pythagoras' theorem, we can work out this side, the hypotenuse, which is going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared. Square root of 4 plus 9, in other words, the root of 13. And root 13 was in our answer, so this is looking encouraging. So when it comes to the cosine of theta, Cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, 2 over root 13. So this is 3t multiplied by 2 over the square root of 13. Now we've got minus 2mg and minus a further 4mg, so that's minus 6mg, and that equals 0. So if I was to tidy this up, we've got 6t, okay, over root 13, and if I was to add 6mg to both sides, we've got 6mg then over here. Now, you could divide through by 6 to both sides, and that just gives us mg here. So, multiply now by root 13, and you end up with therefore t equals mg multiplied by root 13. And that's what we had to show for T. So there you go. Hope you're able to get that, and uh, if not, able to follow it at least. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this part of the question.